Okay, yesterday I tried the Stumptown yogurt for the first time. It was interesting. I don't love it. So you have, Hi, I'm Stumptown Cold Brew. Hi, I'm Tillamook. I know dairy stuff. Let's collab. And when they do that, we get the Tillamook Stumptown ice cream and the Tillamook Stumptown yogurt. Then of course we have the expanded line. We have Tillamook Original Nitro Cold Brew. This one, haven't tried. Cold brew coffee, hot chocolate. And just, I think there might be a Stumptown beer. I don't have one, this is a gift. It says an espresso stout. So let's dive in here and try these out. Let's go with the cold brew, just the baseline. So this is a cold brew, Stumptown. This is called a stubby, I think, stubby. I don't know. They're beautiful. I don't know how many ounces this is. Ten and a half ounces. This is the first cold brew that I saw in the ready to drink category. Part of the reason why their valuation when they were purchased was so high. So that's that's the cold brew. I really like that. Love it whenever I can find it. Let's try this one. Oh, that's true. Before. That is. After! Happy days! Sometimes branding has always been on point. Oh, that is so satisfying. Where do I put this? I don't know. Stumptown cold brew coffee ice cream. From, from cows, not treated with RBST. Asterisk. Why is there an asterisk? So, I am not a fan of coffee ice cream. I do like this, but I like ice cream. It's not too coffee. It's... It's really good. I mean, it's sugar and fat and coffee. They're all things I like. A special batch. Awesome, but definitely, definitely, definitely recommend. Okay, put that there. Oh, hopefully I spit that out. Okay, this is the Tillamook Stump Town Cold Brew Yogurt. This is the worst idea ever. We like our coffee like we like our farmers, bold and strong. I really like that. That's a really nice quote. So again, let's give this a little stir. Try this out. I like that for a, is this Greek yogurt? It's not Greek yogurt. I thought it was gonna say it's not too chunky. Bringing farmers and food lovers together through better made dairy. I made fun of this yesterday and said I didn't like it. I bought two more of them today. I needed one for this video, but I guess I wanted another one, so now I have three of them. It's on sale. It wasn't on sale yesterday. It's dollar twenty-nine. Today's a dollar. It's pretty good savings in one day. I like this now. I am. I'm a fan of this. So, compared to the stubby, the actual cold brew, these do not taste like coffee at all. And maybe I should drink something in between, but the. The coffee taste in the yogurt is so minimal. It's it's practically nothing. Same thing in the ice cream. Okay. So Stumptown cold brew coffee with oatmeal chocolate made with oatly. So again, we have Stumptown. We went we left Tillamook now. Now we're we're collaborating. Collaborating? Collaborating? Collaborating. Oh Bert. Sorry. Collaborating with Oatly. Did I shake it? Do not recommend it. Maybe I need to shake it. I don't know. Oh, it's just super chalky. It just, I think this was four, I should have kept the receipt, 429, four, say 
around five dollars. It is just really lacking identity. It doesn't know if it's cold brew, it doesn't know if it's chocolate milk, it doesn't know if it's oat milk. Would not recommend. That is horrible tasting. Oh, that is just like... The, the yogurt, someone told me I made a funny taste of the yogurt. That, that is... Gladly take the yogurt over one of those oat ways. Okay, so now... We have the Stumptown Original Nitro Cold Brew. Look at that packaging them. Just the branding from Stumptown has always just, where's, where's my face? Here we go. Got to put it on my face here. Has always just been so on point. And it looks like a beer can. It's easy to pack. Great for camping maybe. Early morning dawn patrol. Infused with nitrogen. Perishable refrigerator. This is a 10.3 ounce. Ooh. I hope you heard that. That was oddly satisfying. There's not too much head on it. I know a lot of times with nitro, people like seeing it almost like uh, a draft beer, right? You want to see it kind of fill up and have a little head on there. I personally think the benefit of the nitrogen is to displace the oxygen and you're able to keep the taste of the cold brew at a tighter parameter for longer. So whether it's cold brew made in the cafe or you know naturally distributed in the can. So I like this, this is very smooth. Between these two, the can wins. This, this tastes smoother, it tastes fresher. There's no chocolate in here. I don't think I'm picking up the chocolate in there. I've had this before. I, I, I will opt for this if this is there. So this is my number one option. Grocery store, this is number one option. This and this are both there. I take this. The other one I like is the blue bottle can. So it's silver, about half the size of this. I think it's either eight ounces, might be 10 ounces as well. Okay. So this winning right now. Okay. Another word I'm working on editing out. Okay, those transitions. Espresso stout. So, a couple people on my team dropped off my going away present and they knew I love coffee and they're getting me beer. They got me coffee beers. Coffee, another one in the fridge too. I do not like when people mix things with coffee. I think Venn diagram, coffee stays over here. Other stuff stays over here. There, there is no overlap. But our friends at Oakshire do believe there's an overlap. So let's give this a go. Does not smell good. So community inspired small batch brewing since 2006. First of all, thank you for getting this for me. This is very thoughtful of you. Don't love it. Don't hate it. I would drink it if someone handed it to me. I would never ask for it or seek it out. I think it's more of a novelty. Do people like this? Oatmeal stout with coffee. It just. In this lineup of as at the grocery store, the worst thing is this. All right, the oatly cold brew chocolate. Then we have this, and everything else kind of a tie. Then finally, we have the cheese. I don't know why I did that. But the cheese is just a nice medium cheddar. It's kind of weird to see my teeth marks. At the end of the day, Stump Town started off as an Oregon based company. 
Tillamook to start off Oregon based company. I think that's true. I'm not gonna fact check myself. I think some town's pretty good at making coffee. I think Tillamook's pretty good at making dairy products. I don't think their products together are that great. But we tried them all. If you like any of these, let me know what you think. Oh, did the outfit get in my hands again?